Hey, my name's Lewis, and welcome to a special edition of Expert Academy. So if you've been streaming for a while, you've probably thought about using your VODs as YouTube content. The problem is if you've been streaming with Spotify or playing copyrighted music, YouTube's content ID might block your video. So we've developed some good tech in XSplit to help you combat this. So this video is all about making YouTube safe videos with XSplit Broadcaster. So you need to be sure you're using the latest version of XSplit Broadcaster. If you're not sure, there's a download link in the description. So once you have XSplit open, click on record and then right click on local recording. So if you've never used local recording before, there's some options that are important to enable. First, enable force constant frame rate. Also enable multi-track audio recording. In the codec section, look for options for NVENC, VCE, or QuickSync. These are hardware encoders. This is so that you can stream and record without taking away resources for your stream encoding. For the quality level, I recommend setting it to very high or ultra. If you don't have these hardware encoding options available, don't worry, there's another option. Go to broadcast and right click on your broadcast output. Then go down and enable automatically save a recording of the stream on your hard drive and enable multi-track recording. So this won't be as high quality as a local recording because it's restrained by your output. And if your stream lags, this will also show up on the recording. So if you're trying to capture your PC gameplay, make sure to add that as game source to XSplit. And if you're trying to capture, say, like a web-based game, make sure to screen capture that. So I'm going to start recording. I'm going to go into my game and let some audio play. Then I'm going to click on my music player and let that play. Then I'm going to stop my recording. So I'm going to drop this local recording into our Express Video Editor. And if you click on this drop down menu here, you're going to see the different audio tracks available. And the application audio track is the newest track. This track records the programs that are in focus. So if I click on my game, it will only record my game. If I click on the video player, it'll only play the video player, only if I've added it via screen capture and XSplit. So if we drop this file into more advanced video editing software, you'll see all the tracks here. So this first track is the mixed audio. This is all the different audio sources combined into one. So if I wanna record something and take out the Spotify music, I'm gonna take out the mixed audio track and the speaker soundtrack. So if you want things like your donation alert sounds to appear in your YouTube videos, I recommend setting your donation alerts to stream only audio. With the application only audio, you can actually add new commentary over your gameplay. Anyway, I hope this video was useful. Let us know in the comments the ways that you edit videos for YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to find out more information about XSplit, I recommend checking out XSplit Monthly.